Hello everyone, welcome back to another Historian Bonus Review. Style and Steve with you again this week. It's Friday, of course, and I've been doing these for the past number of weeks. Today I'm looking at the Character Options Underground Toys 7th Doctor figure, which is Sylvester McCoy's Doctor, wearing the outfit he first appeared with in Mark of the Ronnie. And he's got his umbrella, he's got his little hat. And the detail on this figure actually is really, really nice. You can see the vest, you can see the little red tie the check pants, even right down to the spats on his shoes. Now, he is a nice little figure. He's not really designed to hold that umbrella is one problem I have. The umbrella is actually just nestled there in the hand. It comes out very easily. You can put it into either hand and have it looking like he's just casually holding it if I force it into the hand. And he can sort of casually just be holding the umbrella. Now, he's a decent little figure. I do like him a lot. And I'm just going to get the umbrella out of the way there. And we'll take a look here. You can see if I can get the camera to zoom in on him. Uh, hello, camera. Can we focus on him a little bit? See if we can get him in focus there. You can see it really is a decent likeness of Sylvester McCoy right down to they got the blue in the eyes. And uh, the question marks on the sweater vest. And we've got the handkerchief hanging out of the pocket there. The check pants look really good. And, like I said, even down to the wingtips. Nice little wingtip shoes. Now, he's got a decent amount of articulation and posability here. See if we can... Ooh! Focus up again. There he is. Uh, his head does turn. It's on a very tight joint there. It'll turn around. So we can see that his... He can shake his head. He can't really nod his head up and down, unfortunately. His arms do go all the way around. Uh, there's no in and out motion out from the body, unfortunately. He does have a bicep swivel, and he bends at the elbow on both sides, and his wrist turns. He does have a full waist joint, and the coat actually is soft enough that you can pull the coat away and you can, you know, move the waist. And the legs do go in and out on a hinge, and they go forward. They don't really go backward. And they turn kind of at the upper thigh, bend at the knee, and that's it. There's no movement at the feet. Now, a problem I have with mine, actually, that I've only recently noticed, is this leg, this knee, you can see the pin is not really in there too well. Um, when I bend it, it splays out from the knee. I don't really know how well that's being picked up on camera, as opposed to this leg. stays really tight in, and this one splays out really well from the knee. Now, it's not affecting any problem I have getting him to stand. He stands just fine, you can see. It's not hindering that at all. The other problem is this thigh swivel is here. The cut is on the other leg, but let me see if I can get in on this. The cut is there on the other leg. You can see the line, but that leg does not actually turn. I tried a few times to get it to turn, and that is locked. That is like the cut didn't go through that, that leg at all. Uh, but I still do enjoy the figure. I think he's an awesome representation of the Seventh Doctor. I like him a lot. He does fit in scale with the uh, with a few things here. Let's have a look. Here he is standing outside Matt Smith's 11 Doctor TARDIS. Uh, he does fit really well with it. And if I open the TARDIS door, you can see you, know, you can stand him inside. and He fits in really well with exiting the TARDIS. And I even have a picture on the historian page of him standing kind of set up exiting the TARDIS like that, looking out the door. So he does fit in really well with the, uh, with the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. He fits in well with a few TARDISes here. So let's have a look. And here he is with his original 1987 TARDIS from Dapple. And he scales up really well with either, either TARDIS, whichever one you want to put him in front of. And it looks really good. I do like this figure a lot. I like the detail on him, the tie, the little watch chain there, the, the handkerchief. Love overall this figure completely. I do wish the... Uh, the thigh swivel I'm on, like I said, worked on both legs, but that's a quality control issue. It may not be with your figure, it just happens to be with mine, that's the way things are. And uh, doesn't take away from me enjoying the figure a lot. So, this is the Character Options Underground Toys 7th Doctor Sylvester McCoy action figure. I am Style and Steve. Be sure to check out the Historian podcast every Monday at thehistorian.ca. Check us out on Twitter, at The Historian as well. The Historian blog every Wednesday from my good friend and former co-host Shannon is accessible through thehistorian.ca or thehistorian.blogspot.com. 
So until then, uh, I'll see you Monday with a new Historian podcast.